one thing I've learned from being involved with these markets for so long, you just gotta roll with the punches. The markets try to batter you and beat you when they are down. When the markets are up, they try to get you punch drunk with euphoria hopium. That clouds everyone's judgment. There is barely any time for the in-between, but we are in the in-between zone right now. A calm before the next move in these markets. No punches here. We just have good solid crypto content because it's time for Chico Crypto. So many people can't decide where we are in the hyperwave cycle of this bull run. The very significant 50% plus sell off Bitcoin experience could only put us at two places in the awareness phase. And this was and still could be the bear trap or we are done past the mania phase into the blow off and we are in a bull trap. A mouse is afraid of it. Uh, Brad poison. A booby is awesome. You don't want to get caught in one. Small claim score? No! No! Oh, no. Oh, if you watch my content at all this week, you know my opinion. We are smack dab in the middle of the bear trap, aka we are in the awareness phase of this hyper cycle. Awareness phase, my friends, it's time to become aware. Aware of what? aware of the best in class altcoins. Because if this is true, the bear trap, altcoins across the board are going to go parabolic once again in that mania phase. They call it mania for a reason because everyone and everything goes crazy. You could throw a dart at a spinning dart board of different altcoins and pick a winner in the mania phase. But many of those altcoins, once mania ends, are going to get obliterated. I'm talking about 90 to 99% losses. It happened to the 2017 ICOs and altcoins, and it will happen again to many of these. So what Chico Crypto is trying to do is identify the altcoins who will see the parabolic pumps in the mania phase, but then won't lose 90 to 99% of their value come the bear market. They might just lose 80% because they are builders, actual projects with use cases, which means when the next cycle comes around, they will still be here, improving and continually building. And one of my top picks for just that is Alchemist Coin Mid. Why are they still one of my top picks? One word, Mist X. So what the alchemists have been building in the lab just went into a full public release. Yeah, the Mist X exchange is live for anyone to use on the Ethereum mainnet. So let's now get into exactly just what Mist X is. Mist X is the world's first flash dex, aka it's the first time in Ethereum history that regular users and traders get access to Flashbots technology. So to understand the implications of that, you need to understand what Flashbots is. Flashbots is a distributed and decentralized research and development organization whose goal is to help solve the problems associated with MEV, maximum extractable value. Flashbots is led by Ethereum industry heavyweights too. Scott Bigelow, former lead dev of Augur, Phil Deanne, who has been working on smart contract security with Ethereum basically since the beginning and also the MEV crisis. Stefan Gosselin, former lead dev for Numer AI, and just like Phil, has been working on smart contracts and MEV for a long time. Alex Abadia, who just gave a speech at ETH Global on MEV and ETH2 last week. And then and finally, Tina Zen, the connection to the Ethereum miners, especially over in China. She is the Yellow Hat DAO initiative founder, Carbo Clown founder, and has won multiple ETH hackathons with her teams. She's an all star, the entire Flashbot stewardship is. So now that we know industry heavyweights are a part of Flashbots, we need to understand the importance of the Flashbots technology to the next phase of Ethereum. Ethereum 2.0, especially as it scales. Just over two weeks ago, there was a big old discussion, the MEV Roast Scaling Ethereum Edition. Speakers included Flashbots team members, Phil Deanne and Alex Abadia, but also Carl Flourish of Optimism PBC. Justin Drake, researcher for the Ethereum Foundation, Georges Constantopoulos of Paradigm, and of course, the Vitalik Buterin. 
So let's just play what Flashbot steward Alex Abadia said about ETH1 to ETH2 and Flashbots. And so let's let's focus on, on this bit first. So this is interesting because this doesn't change that much. And so I think when people think about ETH2, they think about a radical change in, in transactions and that type of stuff. And uh, that, that's actually not really uh, the case. And so more than this, we see that the, the same software is used to order Ethereum transactions. And that's key because um, we can kind of first, this is kind of first takeaway that Ethereum transaction ordering as we know it today still exists in ETH2. That's important for the extracted MEV that we know of. So the, the, the value with respect to transaction ordering from for example, arbitrages and liquidations, uh, the, the, the game of ordering transactions would still happen very similarly. Um, and by, as we know it today, I mean the same P2P layer and the same software that orders transactions and as I was mentioning. And so now that we know this, we can kind of reason about, hey, what if uh, validators would run a, a transaction ordering software that looks like a Flashbot's MEV GEF, right? And so a slightly modified ETH1 client that uh, is able to accept tips from, from users for transaction priority. Um, and we can use some of the numbers on, on of, of Flashbot's to uh, reason about this and to kind of map out validator rewards. ETH2 validator nodes, like the one some of us are running at home solo staking, could possibly have something like Flashbots integrated, and it could provide them more validator rewards. How much? Let's listen to Alex again. And so we see that MEV boosts revenue by about 17.9%, uh, which is pretty significant, especially when you compare that to minor revenue. A Flashbots type integration with ETH2 validators boosts their revenue by 70.9%, or as you can see from the slide, an extra almost two ETH per year. Flashbots is so important to the future of Ethereum, and MistX is the first time us as retail traders get access to this important piece of technology. It's a historical moment, so let's break down the history. I'm sure you're wondering what exactly MistX provides. So let's dive right into that and then finish this episode off with how the exchange works. The Alchemist Coin team released a blog to go along with the exchange release titled none other than Introducing Mistex. They begin it off with our ethos is by the people for the people. Our reputation is under promise over deliver. And our roadmap is, well, that there isn't one. The team then says, MistX is the first time in Ethereum history that Flashbots is available to regular users for front running protection and no success, no fee transactions. There is no concept of reverts on MistX. Your transaction is either successful with no front running or you pay nothing. Yeah, the front running on Ethereum is bad, like a real freaking bad. Going to the MEV dashboard which tracks the crisis shows over $706 million extracted since the beginning of the year. $281 million of that has come in just the past 30 days, and $5.2 million of it has been extracted from users over 24 hours. It's a bad crisis, and regular traders don't even realize it's happening to them. People don't understand how bad they are getting ripped off by the front runners. A James Farrell tweeted and showed exactly what's happening. He said, the hunt for MEV is crippling Ethereum. This screenshot is from Dex Tools, and it shows swaps that have been front run or sandwiched by bots. And it looks like 80% by my eyeball. 80% of trades are getting manipulated. Well, like James says below, there is hope though. Don't get ripped off by bots. Use Mist X by Alchemist Coin. That is what Mistex does. It allows you to put in trades that won't be manipulated by the bad actors in this space. The MEV extractors can't play with our trades anymore. This drive is protected by some sort of AI. It keeps rewriting itself to counter my commands. Can you override it? The person who developed this is slightly smarter than me. Which means MistX works completely differently than your typical Ethereum DEX transaction. MistX is a gasless exchange. There is no gas that is paid. Rather, it's a tip or a minor bribe that is paid. These tips or bribes are proportionally similar to the traditional gas fees we see today. The miners are going to get paid no matter what. This does not eliminate costs for trading. That is just crazy. 
but now it provides you protection for that cost you're already going to be paying. Transactions processed via Mystex do not publish user transaction information to a public mempool, but instead bundle transactions together in Flashbots bundles. This effectively hides the information from the front runners and thus prevents your transactions from being manipulated, front run or sandwich. And if a transaction fails on Mystex, you're not charged for the cost and you can cancel transactions on Mystex easily and for free. No gas to do that as well. It's the ultimate DEX bringing a much more pleasant experience than even Uniswap can provide. But Mystex isn't its own exchange, it's actually using Uniswap V2 liquidity pools. Trading happens through Uniswap pools, not Mystex's own pools. Which Stefan Gosselin, Flashbot steward and known alchemist just spoke about two days ago in a talk about Flashbots and the technology. Let's hear what he had to say about the exchange. Yeah, I was just going to talk about some of the other use cases. So bot operating, then the other one would be uh, building apps that use MEV in like funky ways. So um, I already shared sort of the, the Mist X front page here. Um, so the other thing that it does is it allows for gasless uh, transactions on top of Uniswap. Um, so how does this work? Well, basically, the way that you can think of the fees that you pay, right, gas fees on um, on Ethereum, you're just asking the miner to include you or allocate some block space for your transaction and the computation that your transaction takes. Um, Oh, I'm getting a message that they can't hear me. Okay, I'll keep talking. If I get another message, I'll freak out. Um, the, um, the miner gets a, a payment from um, the users that uh, essentially says, hey, I, I want this transaction included, and I'm willing to pay this much for it. Um, but uh, there are other ways that you can, um, that you can pay for inclusion which is you can pay directly through exposing MEV. Um, so we already know that doing a trade on Uniswap exposes um, exposes uh, MEV through slippage. Confirmation that MistX is Flashbots Tech, allowing gasless transactions on top of Uniswap. And Stefan then explains how it works. Let's listen in. So we already know that doing a trade on Uniswap exposes um, exposes uh, MEV through slippage, right? And, and that causes uh, sandwiching. What if instead you use the sandwiching to be able to, um, uh, to generate uh, uh, value that the miner can then use to include you in the train? So that would essentially cause you to be able to do trades for free by saying, hey, I have this large trade that I'm willing to make on Uniswap. Um, it has this amount of slippage, um, and then that slippage can be used to compensate for uh, the opportunity cost of including me in the chain um, for, for zero gas price. Um, so that's the idea that Mistex is, is building on. It's using both the ability to prevent front running and the ability to uh, use uh, MEV to pay for inclusion on the chain to provide a novel user experience, which is one of trading on Uniswap without paying any fees. Um, so if you guys have used Robinhood to buy Dogecoin or GME, um, now you can use uh, sort of the DEX equivalent uh, with, uh, with Mist. Lots of talk about Uniswap, revolutionizing Uniswap, wouldn't you say? Well, the Alchemist Coin Twitter also tweeted this during the launch. Today, MistX uses Uniswap V2 liquidity pools. In the future, it is planned to add support for other popular pools. Maybe we'll have our own pools as well. What that means to me, there is planned support for Uniswap V3 pools and beyond. What we are seeing right now from the initial release is just the tip of the iceberg. So let's see what the tip can do right now. Going to the Mistex exchange with the initial release, you can't use a hardware wallet just yet. Like most new tech that comes out, hardware wallets are always a pain and give new products problems. So don't use it, it's not gonna work. Connecting to a non-hardware MetaMask wallet is 
easy, just like Uniswap. Once set up, you pick what you want to swap into or out of or do. If Uniswap V2 has a pair, you can perform the swap on Mist X. For our example, we will be swapping from ETH into Mist. 0.25 ETH is being swapped into MIST. And as you can see below, there is the transaction fee. This is the tip or bribe being paid to the miner. The beauty about this is that fee is included in the transaction. It's part of the transaction. So you don't need any other Ethereum outside of that for gas. The fee is always taken from the transaction or swap being performed. Then going into settings, you can adjust the tip. You can make it smaller, which has a lesser chance of being accepted, or you can push it higher for max chance of being accepted. We'll just leave it at the default, as it should be picked up. You can also adjust your slippage tolerance, as well as add a transaction deadline, which will automatically cancel the transaction if it's not picked up in that set time. And you can also disable multi-hops. Once your settings are set to your liking, just click swap and the details of your transaction will be put forward. Click to confirm, and then this is what's different. No gas screen, no adjusting. You just sign a message and then wait for your transaction to go through. For the medium success, it took just 30 seconds for the miners to accept the tip or bribe, and the transaction went through. No front running, no sandwiching, just a clean and easy transaction. And going to the ether scan of what happened, we can see the miner tip went to spark pool, extracted from the value of the trade. And down below, zero gas. But what if you didn't want to make that transaction? Mistex allows easy cancellation. We signed the swap, but you can click cancel. And as you can see, cancellation happens quick and doesn't cost a drip of gas. Now the beauty of these tips and bribes is a portion of it is reserved for the Mistex platform and the Aludal program, enriching Mistex holders. Each trade made enriches us. Mistex is the future of the exchanges. It's putting power into the people's hands. That's why I tweeted this and we'll stick to it. Mistex is where all of blockchain leaks and Chico Crypto's trades will go down if they're Ethereum based and they support the trading pair. Cheers, I'll see you next time.